the following content is an update and technical analysis on Palantir, a company of the technology sector and software infrastructure based upon the Daily Noble, where in my previous video, Palantir stock had just crashed near double digits, analyzing the, re the rapid rebound from critical support where I had mentioned it on the 21st of August, 2023, where it trading spot price $14.45. And I had just uh, offered a great risk reward short trade setup to the downside based upon a divergent eye with negative and bearish divergences confirmed bearish crossovers in the oscillator and moving average convergence only increasing the odds for a breakdown sell signal based upon this minor reactionary low uptrend line in confluence with the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average we put in that sell signal at the same time took out the 1601 price support where we additionally back tested that key inflection point correlated with the 50 day moving average and it was off to the races in a great showcase of selling pressure down to the 1365 price support where we had a rapid rebound there and here's the update and it is crucial to highlight the reactivity of these levels for long traders whereas in most of my videos i focus on covering shorts and guiding you on strategic buying for a dollar cost average approach i can't emphasize that enough and here we are uh, right off that first bounce where we shorted this key inflection point. We put in that breakdown sell signal right off the 50 undercutting the 50 exponential moving average back tested had an additional. Uh, this is exactly where we had that uh, secondary bounce right off that key inflection point. We ended up bouncing right off that 1365 price support had an additional which you would call a triple bottom. And what was so significant about that move is we've confirmed positive and bullish divergences amongst all technical momentum indicators, which you would call exaggerated bullish divergences. And it was been lights off to the races, put in a beautiful triple bottom, had a healthy pullback in that entirety of that trade to the upside, utilizing that price support level. It's good for 46.9% gains to the upside. With following the release of its of Palantir's third quarter financial results on November 2nd, the data analytics and privacy software company experienced just a surge in its stock right after reporting which included uh, higher than anticipated earnings and sales, uh, prompted uh, management to raise the full year 2023 revenue guidance. The company uh, attributes its current success to the strategic use of artificial intelligence technology, leveraging its artificial AI platform and meta constellation satellites. As a result, the stock is approaching levels not witnessed since early November of 2021. And I believe we've reached a monumental key inflection point on a potential backtest of this hidden primary reactionary downtrend line with just a plethora of reactionary highs and lows really across the board cuts right through the gap there cuts right through the trough of two, of july 2023 there and it looks like we may have back tested that key inflection point and it could and that's where uh, long traders uh, algorithms computers big institutions stepped in there and bought uh, pretty impulsively right off of that key inflection point with just a huge volume at price profile around this range that was just a very technical beautiful key inflection point this is what i observe now as far as any new targets go I believe we've reached a critical juncture aside from that primary hidden confluence of reactionary highs and lows off that key price support level. We have additional that hidden primary downtrend line correlated now with the 2027 price support and resistance level. Very significant monumental key juncture there with just a multitude of reactionary highs and lows uh, going back since 2021 there uh, just it has been heavily respected by short sellers and repair traders, long traders of all kinds of nature where we even had a, a nice clean a reactionary high right off that key inflection point back tested off of it and now we have closed up above that key inflection point it will be uh, determined and remain to see be seen if long traders and or bull traders are able to hold that key inflection point the 2027 price support needs to be held really at all costs uh, especially for any longer long-term traders that want to aggressively uh, set some stops below and, and usher a big move to the upside challenging the 2331 price resistance and then ultimately taking that level up to go on uh, re-challenge the 27 uh, 22 price resistance up above and if we take that level out with a solid daily candle close i could only increase the odds for a much larger short squeeze setup to the upside just upon reflecting off a primary hidden range that needs to be seen and respected really at all costs and i believe we're entering re-entering that that channel for any long-term traders and or bull traders leverage traders that is exactly what i see there and what could raise the odds for a top retest of the primary trading range up above once really being inflected upon that key inflection point to go on to retest and rechallenge these key uh, price support levels. Actually even had a back test right up 2021, which was rejected pretty impulsively. But when we recovered that primary trading range, it was lights off to the races to retag, retest that key inflection point, giving you great short trade setups as well. And then ultimately to retesting the bottom of that trading range, once again, putting a double top there. Again, just being respected over and over again throughout this series and span of time since it's IPO, if long traders can hold this key inflection point for a much larger move to the upside, which would be 
2331 for a 15.9% in gains up to 2722 for 34% in gains. Whereas short sellers, bear traders, this would be what I would call a very aggressive short trade setup here for a prolonged move to the downside in an unfilled check gap down below on a rechallenging primary upturn line. Call it a hidden a confluence, cuts right through a gap, series of lower highs and lower wicks all across the board there. And that would be the ultimate key inflection point for short sellers and or bear traders to respect heavily if we go on to rechallenge and retest and undercut the 50-day moving average down below, which could highly correlate with the top of the gap there for additional price support there. Call it a 17.28 price gap support there would be ultimate key inflection points for short sellers to hone in on for a 15.5% drop down back to that concealed hidden uptrend line for a 22.45% crash. Personally, I am not taking that short trade setup. I am just patiently watching this stock, regardless of, of how many times I shorted, I am still a long-term investor in Palantir.